Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Inquisitor Prophecy where we right now will go on with the campaign Purge the Machine. If you just are if you are only watching the Let's Play, um, I did two live streams yesterday and the day before where I actually uh, went on with the campaign. So we are now actually level 24 which you currently don't see and we um, of course go on with the campaign um, it's a different mission then of course purge the machine it is caught someone sealed off the main cogitator with powerful tech litanies and i cannot access the machine spirit i suspect it was klosterheim omnicronat believes that a major power shortage could purge the cogitators and that any other solution would be a blasphemous act against the machine spirit. Do you need me to reiterate the specifications of your current assignment? I don't think so. I need to find the central switch in the generatorum. I turn off the switch, power goes out. It can't be that complicated. This statement contradicts all ancient doctrines regarding how heavy machinery should be operated. But the priority of tech philosophical debates is currently very low. Be watchful. The genitorium is protected by automated defense systems. Okay, that is of course a very, very good information and it starts phenomenal with me just walking through those bloody, uh, um, bloody um, uh, um, trap laser. Very, very bad of me again so there you can see how powerful two trap boulders bolters in the end can be with me of course walking okay i need to think about that there are a lot of traps in obviously in the campaign mission which i already noticed in the live stream but obviously did not learn out of it weirdly enough okay i pay attention now that is the important part and maybe just maybe over time it in this episode at least on the next one and the next one after the next one it maybe is not happening so did i right now just oversee it again obviously not don't see anything then i do wonder ah, okay i okay now it all of course i should have listened what the tech adept or tech priest actually said to us there that there are autonomous defense systems around so that makes sense that there are so many and there's a one to the left so let's attack him first I hope that I'm not going to be attacked by both of them at the same time that would be not good since both of or two of them can bring us down pretty damn quickly luckily we do not have to destroy everything luckily that is not really a perch it is just called perch the machine that would mean we would really need to go after every single unit so what is quite neat since this is of course a um i guess a station a ship to be precise or a room which is so to say defended by a ai and there it's quite cool that we of course are facing mechanical enemies and not well living and really breathing enemies that is quite neat and with this skill um, of our wonderful weapon which oh goodness that was again very very neatly done um, with the skill of our weapon, the standard skill, what is called again the Warp Blast, is actually dealing AoE damage, so that is perfect to bring down those bloody mines which are lying around oftentimes, which is sometimes very, very not so cool, especially if you play different classes like the Tech Adept which has little constructs all around him and these guys of course are heavily damaged by those exploding mines because the machines are always walking behind you and of course if you walk over the mine it, it does not explode 
don't know how that is actually is in real life it does not automatically explode it explodes a second later and then of course you go through there with your concerts that ain't cool so can I take down the alarm beacon yes I can and of course the inoculator there saved us in the last second although the warp heat is not very very good since okay it's 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 already gone nice warp heat never good since perils of the warp <laughs> is never a thing we should get into okay let's risk it anyhow since with the normal weapon with the warp blast as you see it just takes ages to take the HP down so let's then even if you get perils again just uh, use the channeled weapon it is much neater much quicker much better but of course at the cost Alright, so two rocket launchers, missile launchers, the bad part is that they do a lot of damage, the good part is of course that they obviously have more range than I thought, but not both of them, or technically with the one up there, not all three of them can fire at us, that is the very, very neat part right here. Okay, this one gone. Is this the... Okay. There. Okay. You really don't really... You really don't really. No, you really sometimes are not able to see those rotting laser beams from them traps. Very, very nasty. And I said in the beginning, well, I will pay attention. <laughs> Duty never ends. I'm glad to see that some spark of the Imperial Creed still remains in the darkness of this wretched place. My duty will not end until I have carried out the task you gave me. Okay, another vision. Did you say something, Inquisitor? You sounded extremely strange for a moment. One of those trance-like, sacred states of mind. It felt great. You shouldn't worry about me. I suspect that these emanations are trying to tell me something important. I'm concerned about your condition, Inquisitor. We should take a look at you again when you return. Will do, will do. Why not? So, into the last room, some more remote mines or floating mines, as they are called. And the good part with them, of course, is that they are pretty damn slow. So, they, we can easily run away, so to say, with no problem at all. more of the mines but I think actually if they really really get us and explode then that might be a little more painful than other weaponry in this game gone 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 You gotta love them spells. I'm still absolutely in love with this class, with the Psyker. Um, I was always, I'm always when I began a new character, I was always in, especially in the campaign, very, very in love with the character, but in the end that changes with your level ups. The enemies, of course, are getting stronger or with you being in different systems, the star systems, then um, your spells don't seem as powerful as they currently are then any more so let's see one trap bolter or not trap bolter one but one down and oh yes it's really a trap bolter nice and i will take all of that with me and then let's go to the cogitator and let's see what he is actually going to tell us Shutdown sequence successfully initiated take litanies reverted to default inquisitor your next task is to find the closest mainframe cogitator. Anything else I should be concerned about? Threat assessment in progress. The answer is yes. 
The doors leading to the restricted areas are now open. Potential assailants are emerging from the chambers. Okay, so the next... Oh, okay. Okay. Of course, the good part here, the good part is we don't need to... Movement would have been a nice buff now. We don't need to go through, fight us through a lot of enemies. Okay, that was absolutely worth it. Killing one floating mine. Okay, the rest is not following. That is quite neat. Basically, there's actually... I, 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 I don't want to complain about enemy types in games, don't get me wrong. But... Those floating mines are actually not really huge enemies. Light bearer down. I don't want to die, although um, in the main campaign it it just does not matter if you die. And as I said before, I was glad that there were no enemies around. I assume that in every room we went through in the beginning that there will be the doors will be opening. I don't even know. Did Omnicron set that? I should really pay more attention to the storyline here. Okay, Graph Pistol down as well. I think the same thing is going to happen right here. Yes, they, there they come. So let's try to focus down one group. Or at least the adds the extra enemies, the smaller enemies to be precise, and then, okay, let's warp heat right now is good, that is the good part, and, oh, okay, that went amazingly, surprisingly, very, very good, we killed all of them very, very quickly, even the Plague Widden were quickly killed, so, I'm this ain't no perch. I'm not going to engage enemies which I don't need to engage. That I think is a important thing. Okay, that was a neat little hit. So I always like to destroy those reborn warlocks quickly because their channeled attack, like our channeled attack, is actually doing insanely good damage to, well, every character, every class I have played in this game. That is the weird part. So on the other hand, it is nice as well to face some, I wanted to say living enemies, um, no, automated enemies, that might be the right word, facing some demons, is a good change. I don't even know, of course, they all have a Chaos Flag, that is clear. I don't even know whether the Reborn Warlocks, for example, technically just count as cultists or whether they are demons. Whether, well, they probably not have not achieved demonhood since that, if we think about the lore, is something which only will be, can be achieved by the toughest Chaos Champions. Okay, nice. And, okay, Apostle of Nurgle. Not the toughest enemy. That is good. The bad part is, of course, its bodyguards. As long as... Okay, he has, of course, a huge AoE spell with a lot of toxic fumes, which ain't really nice. But, once he's alone, I think we can focus him down very very quickly and I don't know his warp his warp lightnings are not that tough as well okay he's a goner nice so now the now the real challenge actually comes in as you can see there are a lot of enemies charging right at us. Plague ridden gone. Okay, we of course are um, 
generating too much warp heat this is just fine for me since it is dispensing quickly that is the only only good part there okay I did not since I wanted to aim at the Apostle of Nurgle I of course did not take a look at our HP we neatly nearly died there so now he's all by himself neat Apostle of Nurgle down in a second well actually technically already down let's then go to the I'm here tech priest access the terminal your inquisitorial codes should work something is wrong tech priest I still can't log into the system. I have analyzed the available data. It is not the machine spirit preventing you from accessing the new sphere. I have fresh evidence that the network litanies have been modified on core level by a fellow brethren of the Adeptus Mechanicus. I can't turn off an override implemented by a tech priest. Correct. You will require my personal assistance. We must go to the data sanctum together where I will attempt to seek audience with the machine spirit by binaric apotheosis. You can return to the bridge now. All right, nice. Mission done. I will take them chess with me. And there will probably some talking, but that is the usual we are going to do in the next episode. Guys, for now, you know it. I, as usual, really really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode then please guys give me a little thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i see ya in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye